Well, hello there, and you join us here today to take a bit of a challenge. We've got 10 hot questions. Let's see if you get them right. Whether you get the questions right or wrong, if you're looking to buy or sell a watch, you're welcome to come to watchfinder.com. Tom, it's been a while now since your watch journey started, and I think you have probably accumulated a lot more watch knowledge. And based on that, and with no consultation with you, I'm going to test you on it. How about that? Sounds fine. I love impromptu exams. That's, yeah, my favourite. Especially when they're recorded for the general public. Exactly. Lovely. Perfect. So to put you on the spot, I've got a series of 10 questions and you will have a minute to answer each one. And at the end, we're going to tally up whether or not you really know your stuff when it comes to watches. I'm betting that I'm betting you know more than you think you do. What do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. I'm a bit nervous. Dear viewer and listener, why don't you play along? Note your score down in the comments below and see how well you fared against Tom. Congratulations, is my assumption. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tom. Uh, clock starts now. The first question. Can you name three luxury watch brands beginning with R? R. Rolex. Yes. Raymond Wheel. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh. Oh, is this a trick question? No. Roman Schaff. <laughs> I'm panicking. R R uh, Richard Mill. Yay! Ooh. I would have also accepted Rado, Roger Dubuis, Rescence Rebellion, and RGM. <laughs> That's loads. <laughs> uh, that's the power of the Rolex name. It pushes out all others. They started with R and they're slowly working their way through the alphabet. Tom, it's going to get a little harder. Can you name five different double barreled watch brands? Double barreled? What you mean, like twin barreled movements? <laughs> Good knowledge. Shame there's no points for that. I'm talking like <laughs> maybe one of the big three. Oh, uh, double barreled. Barreled. What? Like? Oh. Oh. Okay. Vacheron Constantin. Yes. Okay. Uh, Audemars Piguet. Yep. And um, the Bremont brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Jeje Lecoult. Who is that one name? Yes. Yes. That's is good. It? Stick, uh, okay. stick to the top three. You've you've abandoned the top three already. Oh, Patek Philippe. Those, yeah, those okay. two guys as well. Sure, sure. One more, okay. one more. Oh man, I'm blanking so hard. This is really annoying. One of them was recently severed in two to make a cool new hip young watch brand for skateboarders. Um, I'm afraid your time is up, Tom. Uh, um, I would have accepted Bohm et Mercier, which be has uh, also become Bohm, Gerard Perigo. Grubel Fulzi and Jack Edro. Dear oh dear. Ah. Uh, Big fat X. Can you name, Tom, three different watches designed by Gerald Genta? Mm hmm. Um, the Royal Oak. Mm hmm. The Nautilus. Yes. And the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. I would have also accepted the IWC Ingenieur SL, the Universal Genève Paul uh, Ruta, the Omega Constellation, yeah. the Rolex Cellini King Midas, the Cartier Pasha, the Bulgari Bulgari, and then any number of other Bulgaris and self-titled Gerald Genta watches too. But yeah, the Mickey Mouse watch. You score a point. Cool. Tom, uh, moving into complications now. Can you name five different types of chronograph? No. Can you at least try for the sake of the video? Um, chronograph. Um, oh, this is really weird. What, like, does automatic chronograph count? Uh, no. <laughs> automatic, manual. <laughs> well, I will, I will take, I will take basic chronograph as one. There we go. So basic chronograph. Can you think of any other types of chronograph? A split second yes. chronograph? Triple split chronograph? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, split the difference? Split the difference? What, between two and three? But, but No, between one, you said a split second and you said a triple split. Oh, did, oh okay, I meant double split. 
<laughs> Double split. Okay, you've got four. The what? The zenith one that wishes round. The El Primero. For that, we'll go for that. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. I think you've done a good job. I would have also accepted flyback. Ah. Oh. Hit reset. Start again. And there's also foudroyant, which is like a a thing I don't really understand. Foudroyax. Foudroyant. I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> Foudroyan. What? Tom, pretty good going so far, but can you name 10 different materials watches are made from? 10. 10. And you can't say yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, and I've given you one for free there, which is gold. Gold, all right. Okay, steel. Yeah. Bronze. Yes. Titanium. Yes. W carbon fiber. Yes. Uh, Five more to go. Palladium. Yes. <laughs> I'm already scraping the barrel. There's got to be a more <laughs> obvious one. Um, what are um, barrels made of? Who? Tungsten. <laughs> wood? <laughs> wood. Tungsten and wood. You'll go for that. There have been wooden watches. Yeah. Low lead brass. Timex. <laughs> <laughs> Low lead brass. <laughs> yeah. One more. Um, really? Oh, God. There's, uh, what's the really obvious one? Um, ceramic. Ceramic. 10 out of 10. I also would have ex uh, accepted platinum, uh, silver, yeah. tantalum, and of course, bioceramic. Uh. But you did a good job there. Tom, can you name three Rolex watches, the models, beginning with S? Okay. Submariner. Yep. Sea Dweller. Yep. Um, uh, what's the other one? Where else do things dwell? Sky Dweller. Sky Dweller. There we go. That was a straightforward one. I would have also accepted the, um, the prototype that some people think is fake, Space Dweller. Uh, is that it? Is there only three? Is there no leeway? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Um, I will be corrected in the comments and I will lose a point uh, and I'm not even playing Tom <laughs> can you name five different watch brands not from Switzerland Grand Seiko mm -hmm. Arlang and Zona yes very good uh, oh Nomos yes two more to go uh, Glass Hute C can you tell me the full name of the brand for the point no, I can't. Glassute Original. Yes, there you go. Is it? One more. One more. Not made... Or a brand that's not from Switzerland. It might be made in Switzerland. Everything's made in Switzerland. But a brand not from Switzerland. One more. A brand not from Switzerland. Uh, Citizen. There you go. Huzzah. Top marks. Um, Bremont and Christopher Ward. Also worth mentioning. They do make their watches in Switzerland. The brands are based in the UK. Christopher Ward's got a Swiss flag in the logo. I would probably... Yeah. Bit of a grey area. That's a good point, yeah. Um, <laughs> can you name the three main parts of a Swiss lever escapement? Okay. Pallet fork. Balance wheel. Yes, yes. Um, this is good. The... the thing... One more piece. The bit that ties it all together, like a good rug. <laughs> Um, says knocking against the thing, and then the time happens. <laughs> do you do you have a way to concisely uh, compound that into one word, or two? In fact, there's a clue. I can't think. I'll give you a clue. Go on. What is it that you would want to try and do to get out of prison ahead of your allocated time? Parole. <laughs> you failed parole <laughs> and so now you're going to try and escape escape wheel yes, yes. Woo. okay cool Tom can you name three luxury watch brands beginning with A Onomar BK very good Arlang and Zona very good now number three and uh yep Accutron. No. Um, 
Arnold and Son. Oh my goodness, there you go. You may have that point, very well earned. Uh, and the last question today, Tom, 10 out of 10, um, not necessarily your score, but certainly the number of questions and the order in which they've been presented. Mm. How did founder Hans Wilsdorf say that he came up with the name Rolex? Was it a genie? A genie in a dream? You're on the right track. You're on the right track with the genie. It wasn't a dream. Oh, it, it was uh, It was whispered to him on the wind or something. <laughs> yeah. A genie whispered the name Rolex to him on his morning commute. On the bus. Yeah. yeah. Yes, while yeah. he was high off his tits, apparently. There you go, mm. Tom. You got that absolutely correct. Um, dear viewer and listener, why don't you rack up the scores while I rack up the scores for Tom? Put them down in the comments below. Let's see how you fared. Tom, you uh, were correct with the three luxury watch brands beginning with R. You were incorrect with the five different double-barreled watch brands. You knew the three watches designed by Gerald Genta. You could name five different types of chronograph. You could name ten different materials. You uh, were able to name three Rolex models beginning with S. Five different brands not from Switzerland. The three main parts of the escapement, the three luxury watch brands beginning with A, and how the name Rolex was created. You only got one wrong. 90%. You are officially a watch loser. How does it feel? I feel a little bit disappointed in myself. I feel like I should have nailed a lot more of that, but yeah, it's quite tricky when you put on the spot like that. Um, but there you go. That's the game of watch questions that you just invented there. <laughs> I have, absolutely. And thank you, dear viewer and listener, for playing along too. And I'm sure you probably put more effort in than Tom did as well. So congratulations on your 10 out of 10 <laughs> score. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments down below. Please also check out watchfinder.com for all of your watch buying and selling needs. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.